to make frozen yogurt bites. I love to make my own recipes. And today we're making frozen yogurt bites. We're going to show you how to make them so you can play too. First you need plain yogurt. Let's put a little bit of yogurt into our bowls. You can use something to sweeten it, like honey or jam. Now let's mix the sweeteners in. The honey stirs in really fast. Mine's changing color with the jam. And then you add fruit, like blueberries or strawberries. I'm putting in strawberries. Me too. You can add nuts for something crunchy, like pistachios or almonds. Mmm, I love almonds. It's going to make it really crunchy. Once your yogurt is mixed, you're ready to put it in the ice cube tray. You have to make sure you do it really slowly so it fits in. I'm going to give it a little taste. Mmm, tastes so good. I bet it'll taste even better when it's frozen. The cool thing is, if you make a little bit at a time, you can make a different recipe to fill up your tray. New bowls for the new recipe. We're starting with our yogurt again. Then we're going to put in our sweeteners. I'm using strawberry jam for this one. My bowl's turning pink. This time I'm going to put in some blueberries. Wow, this one's going to be really full of stuff. I'm cutting my blueberries so it will mix in. Now I'm putting in pistachios and almonds. Once your tray is filled up, you're ready to put it in the freezer. The best thing to do is let it freeze overnight. So, good night. Good morning. Let's try our frozen yogurt. These are the ones we made earlier, frozen and ready to eat. I'm going to choose this one because this one looks like it has honey. I think the recipe is super cool because you can make frozen yogurt bites any way you want. Mine has jam, strawberries, and pistachios. I think this has honey, strawberries, and pistachios. Mmm, this tastes really good. Mmm, that was super yummy. And, and that's, that's how, you how you make frozen, frozen yogurt, yogurt bites. How to make a fairy fruit one. We made fairy fruit wands. I can grant you any wish you want. I wish I had fairy wings. Zing! Wow, I love my wings. Now I wish for a crown. Shabing! Wow, I love my crown. We're gonna show you how to make fairy fruit wands so you can play too. First, you need fresh fruit and skewers. We have prepared some strawberries, grapes, and watermelon, but you can choose any fruit you like. Be careful because the skewers are sharp on the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take one of the fruits and I'm going to poke it and hold the fruit and then slide it down. Just like this. Make sure you leave a bit of room so you can hold it at the end. My pattern is going to be a green grape, then a red grape, and then a strawberry. Mine is going to be a strawberry, a red grape, and then a green grape. What wishes would you want to grant? I would grant wishes for my family and friends and to make the world a better place. And for me to get a new puppy. <laughs> I would wish for me to have some magical power, like be invisible or something. Make sure you have a bit of room at the end so you can put your star watermelon on. Take your watermelon, then take your cookie cutter and smudge it in. You can ask an adult to help you. Then poke out your shape. And when you're done, it should look like there's a star in the watermelon. Then take your watermelon star and place it at the end. Add it on top. 
Now it's time for the ribbon. Take a few cut up pieces of ribbon and then just tie it to the bottom of your stick. Perfect. And that's your fairy fruit wand. I wish you have invisible powers. I wish you had laser eyes. I wish you could fly. I wish you could swim really fast. I wish you could make it summer when it's winter. I wish you had the power to change color. I wish you could make a fairy fruit wand. I wish you. <laughs> How to make snowflakes you can eat. We made these tortilla snowflakes. There aren't you can eat. And we're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. First, you start with your tortilla. This is gonna be the bottom of your tortilla sandwich. Here you go, here you go. Okay, spread your filling on top of your tortilla. My filling is strawberry cream cheese. My filling is cheddar cheese. My filling is chocolate spread. I'm spreading it all over. It's hard because my chocolate spread is thick, so I have to really spread it out. I'm just placing the cheese on top of the tortilla. Mmm, smells good. Then you're ready to make your tortilla snowflake. Everyone needs another tortilla. Here you go, here you go, here you go. And then you fold it once, and then fold it again, and then fold it one more time. And then you're going to bite it, cut it, or take it off with your hands on the edges. I'm taking little pieces out around the edges. I'm just using my fingers to tear it. I'm using scissors to cut out little shapes. Each of the shapes I cut out is going to be a hole in the snowflake. Wherever I bite is going to be a hole in my snowflake. Time to open our snowflakes. Wow, they look so cool. Wow. I can't believe it. <laughs> this looks so cool. Yeah. Now put your snowflake on top of your filling. And the best part about tortilla snowflakes is eating them. How does yours taste, Daniel? Mmm. It tastes so good. How to make paint you can eat. We made this cool art. And the best part about it is you can eat it. Mmm. Mm. We're going to show you how to make it so you can play too. Here's how you make paint you can eat. First you put some yogurt in the bowl. You start with plain white yogurt. Yogurt's going to be your paint. Then you add flavored gelatin. The flavored gelatin is going to make the yogurt colorful. Start by putting a little bit. And then stir it. I'm making green paint. And I'm making orange. Different flavors make different colors. To make the color darker, add more. When you swirl, it looks like it's a big tornado. And when the gelatin and yogurt are mixed together, you're ready to paint. You can use your spoon like a paintbrush. Get a plate and then start making your picture. I want to use red. I'm making a blue line. I want to use orange now. You kind of have to pour it out of your spoon a little. And then you can smear it around. Mmm, lemon smells good. I'm making a rainbow. Me too. I'm going to use two lemons to make eyes. Now, I'm going to use red to make eyelashes. I'm done with my rainbow. It yeah. looks really pretty. Thank you. My favorite fruit is blueberries because they're very yummy and sweet. <laughs> Now I'm going to add two blueberries for my eyeballs. 
My favorite fruit is a strawberry. That's why I use them for eyes. I'm using two oranges for cheeks. There's my face. All done. I'm adding more paint on top of my paint. And if you don't want the paint somewhere, just dip it on your finger and eat it. Done. Have fun painting and eating.